Morning, folks. We've got a solar flare, the 2021 Global Climate Report, a stellar intruder, and some answers to common questions from yesterday's top story. We are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the southern coronal hole has hit center disk. Its enhanced solar wind is about two or three days away from Earth. The burst you saw top left was from the same northern CME maker from earlier this week, still releasing eruptions as it turns in with that M-class solar flare this morning, and interesting to note, the tightest of CME forms here from it, rather than an expanding cloud of plasma. Top quake of the day struck Indonesia. Again, they've taken a number of bigger quakes the last week and a half. And we are on to the Global Climate Report for 2021. Folks, the majority of this map shows what we like to call normal natural variability and regional heterogeneity. A degree or two above or below average is completely normal. What's evident here is the major climate anomalies at the north, the same area where the solar forcing chooses to work the Earth the most, the same place where the magnetic pole shift is changing the local conditions the most. By the way, just as we previously described how if their models were correct, Global warming wouldn't mostly be at night, which it is. But if the models were correct, the largest climate anomaly should be in Antarctica, where the ozone hole still hasn't recovered to where they think it should be. And yet they've got increasing ice there, as we saw confirmed earlier this week. And on top of the heat being more prevalent at night, which isn't as extreme as the picture they paint for you on TV, the cold events do hit in the hardest possible way, and they are not stopping. Fun little paper here up next on the symmetries at all scales of the cosmos. Those symmetries actually apply very well down to the micro and nano scale, but this is still an excellent piece on the design of this realm. The symmetry is one of seven things actually that has convinced me of the engineering of this reality. Up next, an interesting story where they say they caught a stellar intruder creeping into another star system while it was trespassing. The return shows interaction between the stars and surrounding material, and by the way, this system is set to go nova soon, based on the abundance of circumstellar material. Now folks, yesterday we discussed the local bubble, and how even the authors of the study are stunned at the random chance of luck that the sun happens to be right in the middle of the bubble, saying we traveled there and happened to look at the right moment. We said no. Hypervelocity stars aren't nearby, the galaxy moves more together at the relative scale, and the cause of the bubble is actually the repeating nova events at the sun, but not just the sun. It's all the stars nearby, and the local group, which contains a lot of stars, is somewhat local, and is indeed the core center of this bubble. We're all making the bubble together. Many have asked, where's the mass coming from for those new stars? Well, if you think it's just the sun, I get that question. But it's about 90 micronova potential stars in the local group, 600 super flare stars. And that's a wonderful explanation for the mass ejected, not to mention the fact that most of that mass is actually in the interstellar medium, being compressed at the shock front of the bubble, rather than being completely from internally ejected material. These bubbles are filled with hot X-ray luminous gas, and that indeed implicates it's caused by nova events. As we look at the local features, including the Radcliffe wave and the horrendously shaped in this model, split wave, we can see how other nova events or the passage of the galactic sheets tends to allow more of a north-south expansion than it does with width. Other questions were about multiple shells to the bubble, no, if it's an X-ray expanded bubble, which is in fact the explanation we're giving, leading to the plasma material accumulation zones being much closer to the individual stars, kind of like the Oort clouds or the asteroid belts. The nebula and remnants we do see are the material, but the light-triggered bubbles are vastly bigger, and that's the case all across the cosmos, just as it is with this one. Again, it's not some random, amazing, magic, cosmic luck of space coincidence. This is part of our system. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got eyes on the sun as that eruptive area is turning towards the Earth. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.